Hello guys, in this video I will try augment code IDE inside of VS Code and compare that to Cloud Code on the same tasks. There will be three tests. We will ask for something, make a minor change and make a big refactoring. We'll see whether augment code is worth the pricing and is it that good because they tend to say that they have lightning fast complete code base context which is their kind of differentiator. And also at the end of this video we'll talk about pricing and compare whether it's worth paying $50 per month currently is the minimum price on top of free trial for augment code. Let's dive in. So here I am in VS Code with Augment installed and we will ask a question. So you can click here and this prompt becomes a question. And we will add the same thing in Cloud Code. Here I am in Cursor with Cloud Code opened. Ignore these warnings. I'll fix them later. And let's see what would be the answer for the current versions of Laravel and Tailwind and how fast it would provide the answer. So send to agent and enter here. And let's see, generating response, retrieving, cloud code, blanching. I will just command tab. And yeah, cloud code already provided the answer and augment is still generating response. And yeah, summary. We can make it bigger and the result is probably the same Laravel version and Tailwind version with some explanation and with Cloud Code it's just those two lines. To be honest, I do prefer Cloud Code for that reason because most of the times it provides only the amount of information needed, although Cursor and Augment in this case and also Junior and PHP Storm, they tend to wrap the answer in some text which is not really needed that much. But actually both Augment and Cloud Code did the job well. The next test will be to make a small change in the code and in this case for example I have a projects table and this description column is too long and I don't want to show it in the table so I asked both augment and cloud code to remove the description column from projects table. I intentionally will not make any guidelines or context. The best practice would be to provide the file like what blade file or what controller to change if you know that. But let's try to test both if they will understand and find the right context. So enter and enter. I'm doing that in two separate folders. So the changes are separate. Okay, augment context engine retrieving from code base. This is kind of the main thing about augment. Search for any views forms, found the pattern on projects table. Oh, this is interesting. I meant this is my fault. I meant the table visual, but what Cloud Code understood is remove the whole column. So yes, for example, let's let's proceed with that actually. Editing the file, editing the migration. So both of them understood as I want that field gone from the database. Okay, fine. Let's roll with it. Terminal make migration, approve to make migration. Uh, yeah. So the speed is not actually accurate because I will approve all the commands. And this will be even more interesting test because more files will be changed and we'll see what will be the actual changes. So editing the description, migration, model, factory, okay. And this is where augment is actually slower. I noticed that in my internal testing, so augment is fast to start to analyze the project because it has internal search. But then as you can see, Cloud Code is already proceeding with blade files, even with my manual approval, but augment is still on form requests which are long done by Cloud Code. Table header, now it went to blade files. But actually in terms of results, I do expect similar results because again, under the hood they use Cloud Sonnet 4. Oh yeah, so this is done by cursor with Cloud Code and for augment, it is slower. So now it's asking to run migrate. It didn't actually ask in Cloud Code or did it ask for migrations? I'm not sure actually. Let's run the migrations. Great, waiting for user input, artisan test. So this is great. So it's launching the test automatically, but the tests fail because probably tests expect the description. So now whether the tests pass, excellent. Tests are now passing, waiting for user input on make migration. Okay, approve. So some more changes needed on the migration. So it's trying to handle the edge case of 
whether the column existed before the change or not. Running the tests again, approve, still passing probably, I would guess. Generating response, test still passing, waiting for user input to migrate again. So it's extra verification, which is a good thing. PHP Artisan Serve, no, I don't need that. I will test it manually in the browser. Let's run a quick test, Artisan Tinker. No, I don't need that. Where do I stop actually? So it's executing PHP Artisan Tinker as I understand, but I don't see any progress at the moment and I don't see any button to stop. Not sure, but anyway, let's compare the changes. So Augment changed 10 files and Cursor with VS Code changed 9 files. So Augment did additional migration file to remove that description. In addition to editing the old migration, which may be considered actually a red flag because you shouldn't edit old migrations in Laravel, but okay, I can roll with that. And in case of Cloud Code, it just edited old migration. Not sure. Looking at this file by file, the changes seem similar. It's just that Cloud Code by default didn't run any test, didn't verify its work, and didn't create additional migration just in case. And I noticed that about Cloud Code in general, whenever I use it, if you don't specify the tasks to do additionally, it will stop similarly how it stopped with the result of Laravel 12 and Tailwind version. Nothing more to add there. So same here, if you don't ask it to write tests and run tests, it will not do that. So you should put that in MD or in the prompt itself. Augment code did it automatically without me asking. So this is a plus on augment side. And in terms of speed, yes, augment code was slower, but for a reason, for that exact reason that it was running tests. It was a bit slower too, even before running tests, but it's not that significant slowness that it would change the overall experience. And the third test I'm gonna run is refactoring of relationships. And this should take quite a lot of operations. So in the tasks form, I have user, only one user per task. And imagine I want to change the relationship in the database to many to many. So a task could be assigned to multiple users. And this change is related to database structure, eloquent models, relationships, controller, validation, blade, and also automated tests. So I will run the prompt. In this case, we'll not show the full process. We'll stop just on important parts and we'll compare the results at the end. So this is a prompt, again, in a human language, but mentioning technical terms like migrations, relationships, and others. And let's see what will be the result of both. So I launch it in Augment and I launch it in Cloud Code. This is the powerful Augment Context Engine retrieving let me search. So this should be quick. This is kind of the most advertised function of Augment. The same is done actually by Cloud Code, searching in the code base for files needed. So they're both searching for code base and Cloud Code is already done with that and start editing the code. And Augment is not that quick with that. Although again, search engine is something that they really advertise a lot. Now it starts implementing the changes. And actually, I will apply everything to cursor to do automatic changes, waiting for input, approve. And yeah, I will skip until the end when the result is actually done by at least one of them. By the way, side note, Augment also has a task list here. And you can take a look at that at any point. But I like Cloud Code more that it always references update to do's after each to do like this. So you can always see what's left after each task. And the cloud has finished the task in roughly four minutes or so. And if we take a look at the to do list on top, this was the to do. And meanwhile, VS Code with Augment is working on blade views, which was this point for cloud code. So it's like three points behind. Meanwhile, we can test what Cloud Code has done actually in the tasks menu item. Oh, it didn't run the migrations. So it made the change, but it didn't run the migrations. Let's see if the migrations will be executed by Augment. And this is interesting. Augment is creating test file for task functionality. What Cloud Code did in this case, it seems there are no task specific tests. So then it moved on with other tasks and didn't generate any tests. So if there are no tests, then the job is done, which is again the same pattern that Augment does a step further, extra step to generate the tests if they don't exist. Again, it could be easily corrected with Cloud Code 
when instructed it to do so. Let's run the migrations. But yeah, by default, Cloud Code doesn't do that. Let's run tests. Approve. Need to fix the factory now. And this is a typical thing, by the way, when generating tests for Laravel, as I noticed by all LLMs they always fail because of some test data incorrect in factories, for example. So with automated tests, it always may be a little bit of a rabbit hole, but Augment seems to be doing good job, at least in the right direction. So still fail, but actually let me fix it properly. It reminds me of Sonnet 4. It actually uses Sonnet 4 under the hood. So I recognize even the voice, the tone of voice. So it would be the same in cursor or cloud code if we instructed cloud code to generate the tests so i will just wait for it to finish meanwhile let's get back on testing with the browser so the migrations have been executed and both code bases work with the same database by the way i'm not sure if i should have done it but anyway if we add a task can we choose multiple users now yes we can this is a multi-select let's try the edit link so there's edit for the task and let's try a few users update task. Did it work? Updated successfully. And yeah, two users are here in the table. For others, no users assigned. So this is what has been done by Claude Code. Seems to be correct. Meanwhile, Augment is still struggling with those tests. But if it is correct, then it's worth the extra time. Let me continue updating the other unit tests. Okay, that's a lot of tests. Actually, we can open the list of changes and yeah we have two tests feature and unit 14 files altogether with cloud code the change is actually 15 files but that dot cloud doesn't really count so instead of those two test files what did it generate oh component for multi-select yeah that's the difference from augment and also it changed projects show blade to show the tasks accordingly but everything else seems to be really similar in terms of what files were changed. Now let's get back to augment. Okay, user input, artisan test. Will it be successful this time? Let me run unit tests. Okay, approve. Unit test failing because, oh yeah, another test error. Okay, editing the file again, editing the file again. It takes quite a while. It seems like it's stuck in some kind of loop, which may happen actually to any LLM. It may not be augment's fault. And it seems to be doing the same operation. Not sure, plus two, minus two. Or maybe it's touching multiple methods of the same test, adding client ID and project ID each time, which probably makes sense, but it just takes quite a while. If we open that file, what's inside? Test this, test that. And yeah, in each of the method, it needs client and project ID and is doing it one by one with a lot of methods. Okay, we approve to run tests again. Will it succeed now? Issue with duplicate user test. Okay, another issue and another test to run. Perfect, run all the tests to ensure it didn't break anything. And yes, all tests are finally passing. So view the final task list, summary, and all the changes listed here. Let's try to launch the website and see if it was successful. So that was the result in Claude Code. And now I have different URL for Augment. We have checkboxes here. So this is interesting. A different decision from UX. So tasks work well. Assigned users with those two badges with two first letters, probably initials. And then we have check boxes let's try to change it if you have a lot of users this is not the best ux decision to be honest but yeah let's try to update the task will it work and yeah we have another user here so it works so all in all for those tests to be generated verified fixed and then fixed again and then run again and then fixed again all of that in total took 12 extra minutes so for the whole task cloud code took four minutes but without tests augment took 16 minutes but we have automated tests executed and verified as a result it's your preference whether you prefer speed or more thoroughness by augment Again, in all fairness, Cloud Code would generate the test if we instructed it to. So yeah, what can I say about Augment after doing eight tests before this video and then in this video and comparing that to Cloud Code or Cursor, to be honest? The experience of agent working in action is roughly similar. And since it's working with the same LLM under the hood, there is not a big difference in UX. 
The crucial difference here is that Augment by default tries to verify the tasks and Cloud Code didn't do that automatically. And Cloud Code is faster than Augment, sometimes a little faster, sometimes a lot faster by like 20 or 30 percent I would say roughly, but that shouldn't be a deal breaker when you're choosing the tool. What is a deal breaker probably is pricing. So if I click to upgrade plan here, I'm on trial now. Developer plan for $50 per month gives 600 user messages. And you saw what a message is. Basically, it's one prompt. So it looks similar like cursor original pricing of 500 requests. It was for $20, which is totally unsustainable from business point of view. And I talked about cursor pricing in a separate video pretty recently on this channel. So this pricing looks a bit more sustainable from business side. And I think $50 a month is reasonable. For Cloud Code, the pricing for this is roughly $2.50 for those requests that I did. If I paid with the API pricing, but for Cloud Code, I'm on pro plan of Anthropic, which gives me Cloud Web and Cloud Code with four Sonnet. It doesn't give Opus, but Sonnet 4 is included in $17 per month. We can try to calculate how many requests I could launch in a month, but this is just an approximation. I'm pretty sure it will not calculate to 600. In other words, my point is $50 per month is not really bigger than $17 per month necessarily because the amount of usage is bigger as well. And on the dashboard of Augment, as you can see, you clearly see how many user messages are still available. I wonder if they don't change the pricing model in the future because for Cursor it didn't end up really well because people start abusing putting a lot of things in one user message, which costs a lot for Augment Code to basically buy API access from Claude, from Anthropic, we'll see in the future. As with everything, pricing tend to change quite a lot for AI editors, any of them. So by the time you're watching this video, the price may be changed as well. And the final note, the main thing that Augment Code emphasizes in all their videos and the messages is lightning fast, complete code base context in every keystroke, which means quick search for specific code. In my case, in my testing, Augment versus Cloud Code, I didn't feel that lightning fast difference. In fact, Cloud Code was even faster to find specific files or context needed for the prompt. So yeah, is Augment Code good? Good. Is it better than Cloud Code? Not really. My current experience with a lot of AI IDEs, it feels like they are all now currently, as of August 2025, are wrappers of Cloud4 Sonnet with just some minor differentiators on top. What do you think, guys? We can discuss in the comments. Do you use Augment? Maybe I missed something and it is more powerful somewhere. I just didn't unlock the functionality. Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you want to stay up to date with AI coding daily news, I have a free newsletter which you can subscribe to. So here are two issues already sent and another one coming next Wednesday, August 20th. So subscribe for free. The link will be in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.